In this short video, we're going to see how we can use ne and pas in French sentences to make negative sentences. We're used to seeing these types of phrases. For example, je joue au tennis, I play tennis. Tu manges une pizza, you eat a pizza. Elle fait les devoirs, she does the homework. However, sometimes we want to say that someone doesn't do something. In French, we need to use ne and pas. Using ne and pas is very easy. All you need to do is to put the ne and the pas around the verb in the sentence. So in the first sentence, our verb is joue, play. So we put the ne before the joue and the pas after the joue. So je ne joue pas means I do not play or I don't play. For example, je ne joue pas au tennis. Je ne joue pas au rugby. In the second example, you can see exactly the same thing happening. We've put the ne and the pas around the verb. Therefore, tu ne manges pas means you don't eat. Finally, we have elle ne fait pas. As you can see, in each case, we simply put the ne and the pas around our verb. Have a look at these couple of examples. On the board, you can see je ne suis pas français. This translates as I am not French. How do you think you would say I am French? The answer would be simply je suis français. To make it negative, I am not French, we just insert ne and pas around the verb. Here's another example with a more complex sentence. Je ne veux pas aller au lit. I don't want to go to bed. In this sentence, the ne and the pas goes around the verb ve, which means want, because what we're trying to say is I don't want to go to bed, rather than je veux aller au lit. I want to go to bed. There's only one thing you need to be aware of when using ne and pas. In the top sentence, it would appear that all is well because we've put the ne and the pas around the verb. However, there is a problem because the e from the ne and the a in the m clash and it's not particularly easy to say je ne aime pas. Therefore, for ease of pronunciation, we get rid of the E and just add an apostrophe to show where it used to be before we removed it. We end up, therefore, with je n'aime pas, which is much easier to say, but is still the negative, meaning I don't like. Finally, don't forget that H is counted as a vowel in French. Therefore, when we say j'habite, I live, we have to do the same process again. We put our ne and pa around the verb. However, the e from the ne clashes with the h. Therefore, we remove it and put an apostrophe in its place, which results in je n'habite pas, I don't live. Have a look at these four sentences on the screen. Pause the video and try to turn them into the negative by putting the ne and the pa around the verb. Remember to watch out for clashing vowels with the ne. Once you're happy with your answers, play the video again and then you'll see the answers come up. Okay, so here are the answers. Hopefully you found these. We have je ne suis pas anglais. Tu n'aimes pas le foot. And in this case we got rid of the E and replaced it with an apostrophe because of the A. Je ne parle pas. And elle ne boit pas d'eau. Pause the video again and think to yourself how you would translate these sentences into English. Press play to hear the answers. Okay, so je ne suis pas anglais, I am not English. Tu n'aimes pas le foot, you don't like football. Je ne parle pas, I don't speak. And elle ne boit pas d'eau, she doesn't drink water. Um, just to be aware that the... Do has changed to a D because whenever we use the negative, we always then just use a de afterwards. So whereas in the first sentence we had elle boit de l'eau, when we then put the ne and the pas in, it simply changes to do.